Hello guys and welcome to Bush Life. And today, the beautiful partner is getting some rocks and we're going to decorate the area around the bush plant here. Um, we've got a few small ideas and I've got the stuff from last episode as well, along with a few extra things from episode 60, like the rocks, and just a few small things. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We've also got this giant lump of wood here and I'm thinking I might hammer it to the tree. And if I show you our newest addition to the bush tent, we have ourselves a little plant here. And I'm going to keep it as an indoor plant. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm thinking that's a nice spot to keep it maybe. Or, hmm, actually, I reckon over there is nice. And I need this for the stuff today. Yeah, that's a nice looking plant there. Alright, now it's time to figure out what we're going to do for the bush plant. Plant. Beautiful partner is just going to make a ring of rocks around here. I'm going to get the stuff ready to start hammering that into the tree. And um, the plant's growing upside down at the moment, mind you. I don't think it's feeling too well in all the best ways, I guess. I say that because it's growing at least. There's these birds in the tree. And they look very black on camera, but they look like macaws. You know those Rio birds? But, yeah, they've got like a little yellow around the neck and the blue head, blue body. There's two of them. How are they here? Maybe they're going to go back from the brink of extinction and take revenge on the human race. Not gonna lie, I wouldn't blame them. Must be a plot twist for humanity. Alright, so a beautiful partner's doing the rocks. Not too sure what those birds are. Might be, they're definitely a parrot of sorts, just not sure which one. But, thinking I put this up against here, I've got my longer nails. So, use those. Beautiful partner is beside me doing up the rocks as we speak. And finding plants. Exactly. <laughs> right. is, is that going to be long enough? Yeah, that'll be long enough. Surely. Oh. Surely this is long enough. I don't think it's going to be. No, I did it on the side. It was long enough. Yeah, no, but to go into the actual tree. <laughs> Don't distract me mm, while sorry. I'm whacking my finger. Hello. I don't have enough. Actually, I think I'll put this on the ground just to <coughs> whack it. It's easier. I'm using it for something else. Well, it went through. <laughs> like I said, not long enough. It has to be long enough to go pretty far into the tree. I'll make it long enough. Oh, lovely. There we go. Problem solved. It is now into the tree. Yeah, that's, that'll be fine. It ain't going anywhere. Alright, so I was at my uh, grandparents today and got some rocks here from the beach to put around this pine tree. And my granddad will be putting that gate I said last episode in um, in about two weeks time I think. We'll just have to see. Alright, this should be enough if I work with it. There we go. That looks nice. 
Hopefully that pine tree grows nice and big. I think that was everything I had out of my bag for today. Beautiful partners in the distance rock hunting. Did you find any of them? You found two. They're still kind of small. I have to do. I'm trying to find the rocks from episode 60 there. Hold on, there's a heap in here. This is where they are. Should that be enough? Yep. Hopefully otherwise I'll come back and get some. Yeah, I think that's everything in here. Okay. I need to fill that pit in from Arrow's failed fire attempt. This is starting to look quite nice. Oh, can you smell that sewer smell again? Yep. What is that? Something stinks down here. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. It's definitely even. Yeah. Oh, it smells like babies' nappies down here. Someone die in the creek in the floods? Did a baby die? I hope not. <laughs> Ew, spider. Stop, dude. Mm. Um, I think I'll put the summit metal. Oh, <laughs> Put it in there. I'm gonna have to go get some dirt. Hold on. Should be able to get what I need from here. Good thing I brought the shovel down just in case. I originally wasn't gonna bring it down. But, turns out helpful anyway. I need just a bit of dirt. Just enough to get that um, metal from the summit of the mountain in. You know, that should be more than enough. Here's the potty plant here. It's starting to grow a bit again. And a baby potty plant. Let's call it potty plant, potty plant junior. And I'll explain what I'm doing with these plants and this at the end of next episode. Looks like something stood on my chili plant. That is... Definitely long gone now. Rest in peace. And what did I name this plant? The ruin plant, I think. So, um, yeah, that's that's still growing here. And this plant from episode 60, which was like a month ago now, that was pulled out. It's still alive somehow. It has no roots. So I don't know what's going on there. And also some of those wildflowers. They're still growing here as well. I wonder what happened to those other flowers that was growing. Catmint. Maybe it's that? I don't know. And this plant here is starting to get some new shoots. I don't remember what I called this thing. I don't think it ever had an official name. So, hmm, what can I call it? Call it the regrowth plant. Yeah, that's good enough. And I'll explain what I'm doing to all of those next episode, which will be the last one before I take my month or more break. All right, Beautiful Partner is recording another episode of the Tiny Hut Side Series over on Outdoor Adventures channel, so be sure to check that out. And I've got a load of the dirt here. I'm going to put this in here. It's a bit of a hole because that's where I put the water in uh, for the bush plant. So just kind of dump that all in. Move all that around. There we go. Now, this is looking good. I'm not too sure what I'm doing with the log back here, but I will figure it out. I think I'll save it for another project in future after I have my month break. So I'll just keep that. Um, in the meantime, I think here we are done. I'm gonna try and make a little hat stand.
There we go, that works. It's good. Should make things a bit easier down here. Now before we sign off, let's go see what Beautiful Partners is doing for the side series. Filming my feet. No. I'm attacking you on camera. Mm. Yes. What have you collected? Sticks. Lovely. Thanks. Maybe store them over here. Oh wait, that's the car. Yeah. Do you want me to bring the log thing over? Are you gonna use that here? No. So keep do you want me to just put it on the white table? Yes, please. Alright. Bye. Have fun making stick things. We'll just go put this on the table over here for later. Alright, well I say today has been a pretty short but successful episode. The bush plant area looks just a bit nicer now and a little bit less ugly. And I'll explain some more stuff as I said for the other plants from the old area at the end of next episode before I have my break because I've got a plan for what I'm going to do with those. So do stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Next episode, we will be doing quite a bit of work before I sign off for a month, so do stay tuned. But if you did enjoy, do make sure to stick around and check out Beautiful Partners Side Series on their Outback, not Outback, Outdoor Adventures channel. Uh, I have a link to the first episode in the subscription, not the subscription, what am I saying? The description. I'll see you guys in the next one. just need one little touch up the bush stick originally I was going to do up this area itself but after the whole council thing that's not going to happen so the bush stick will spend the rest of its days with the bush plant looking nice and lovely that would be my thong that I need here beautiful partner is just getting the bush plant to stay up as something attacked it overnight it and I'm going to get the bush stick here up in the tree and now here is our finished product Perfection. Now hopefully that keeps the kangaroos at bay. Alright, for real, goodbye. See you in the next one.